What's up YouTube? So I saw this comment posted on another content creator's page. So we can look at the commenter, there's no profile picture and it says gen user 135. So basically it, this is a sock account from another content creator. And starting off, it says, it's cowardly how MV always takes shots at blacks, but not whites. Now that right there, that argument is a very typical Blackistan gaslighting tactic. That is one they always use. And it's typically from the women, from black women. So I'm guessing this individual who posted the comment is very closely connected with black women in their circles, etc. Because that is specifically, I hear that from black women telling me and other biracials, oh, you only have smoke for the blacks and not your white side. So very typical. And also before I move forward, where he first puts right here, it's cowardly. No, to me, what's cowardly is this person who's so much of a coward that they have to use a sock account to talk about me. No profile picture, no username, nothing. They have to hide behind a sock account to call me out. That right there is the definition of cowardly. And then he puts here, now I'm not taking sides or anything, but if he's so quote unquote balanced, as he says he is, why not take shots at both equally? Is it being quote unquote pro whack to do that? LOL. So first off, I find this to be extremely foolish and of course lopsided because as I've already stated in one of my earlier videos about the suspected imbalance and criticism is that more than not, most biracials can attest to this. Most of our criticism in our gaslighting and, our, and the attacks that come towards us are coming primarily from one side, primarily from one side, and it's not always the case. There are, I would say, most of us have had this experience where it's usually always one side who attacks us, outgroups us, and they, they have hate for us because we're mixed race or dual heritage. It's usually always one side, but like I said, it's not always the case. You'll talk to some biracial people who are quote unquote from the hood. They were enculturated and socialized in a different manner. So with a lot of them, you know, perhaps their experiences have been different and also how they, their worldview might be a lot different as well. Perhaps the people who were gaslighting them and ridiculing them for being of dual heritage was possibly the other side. But what I find more than not talking with biracials is that more than not, it's usually one side over the other. And we already have evidence of that, you know, from the um, Mulatto Diaries. I saw a comment that she posted 14 years ago, where she basically was saying the same thing that I'm saying now. And this is a woman saying this different generation. Uh, she basically was saying that more than not, it's always black people who have something negative to say or to ridicule us for identifying as biracial. So when this cowardly commenter, Jen user, puts that he thinks it's cowardly for me to take jabs at blacks but not whites, well, I'm only going to jab back at people who jab at me. And since most of the jabs that people are taking at me for identifying as biracial and mulatto, are coming specifically from the African-American community. Therefore, a lot of jabs are thrown. And that's why I'm very specific about which communities that I'm specifically talking about. I don't lump all groups of people together. I'm not an absolutist. But what you'll find with my commentary, I'm pretty assertive and brash, and I do use choice words a lot. But what you'll find in my commentary is that I definitely ruffle a lot of feathers. And as you can see, this one coward in his sock puppet account basically got his feathers ruffled.